guys, it's Jessica Hayes. Today I have a video that is my everyday kind of go-to look. I do wear glasses every day. So this is going to be a perfect look for if you are a glasses wearer, but I also don't wear glasses sometimes and this is still my default look. It's just a very, very simple, easy, quick to do, wearable eye that pretty much not pretty much, it does look good with every single lip color imaginable. So if you want to learn how to do this super simple everyday eye, keep watching and I'll teach you exactly how to do it. I'm going to be using the Etude palette and mainly like these kind of colors right here. Uh, there are so many different variations that you can do. Um, sometimes I use the Maya Mia palette from Anastasia. Sometimes I'll use like these two colors from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, something like that from the Naked Smoky palette as well. And also obviously there's a bunch of uh, great colors like these kind of ones in the, in the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. So honestly, you don't have to use this exact palette that I'm using. Um, it's just pretty much, you want one of those nice creamy kind of shades and then a cool kind of torpy shade to pop in the crease of the eye. But I am using this because this is one of my favorite formulas out of all of the ones that I've just showed you. And it's also got a really nice kind of bronzy contour color. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the Kat Von D Locket Eye Color Corrector Primer on. This is the shade Light. I have been really liking this as my eye primer lately just because it's very easy with this little tube that it comes in. So I just pat that into the eye. Make sure it goes a little bit above the crease just so there's no lines left. You wanna make sure with the eye primer that you don't leave any harsh lines because otherwise shadow is gonna to grab to that. In my opinion, it doesn't really matter what shade you start off with, whether you do the light first or the color through the crease. But today I'm going to start off with this color right here from Sourcebox. This is a medium kind of torpy color and I'm going to pop that through the crease with my 247 Smith brush. Just using a back and forth sweeping motion. just build up that color till you're happy with the depth. So now I'm just going to take a flat lay down brush. This is the Royal and Langnickel small shader brush. And I'm going to grab this creamy kind of color right here from the E2 palette. I'm not going to use anything too bright like this because it's just going to be a little too stark. More of like a skin color. So obviously you will adjust that according to your skin shade. So just pat that on all over the lid. I don't want it to be a super harsh like cut crease or anything through there, so don't worry about that. Sometimes I'll even go back in if it does end up looking a little harsh and just blend those colors together with that first brush we used. Now for under the eyes, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Geek Spice Pencil and I'm just gonna run that along the lower lash line. This pencil is like the perfect taupe color without being too dark. If you want that shadowing underneath without being extreme. And I literally just grab my ring finger and just run along the edge there. I'm just gonna use the very tip of this brush and just kind of run that over the spice pencil just to set it but also to diffuse it a little bit too. I don't always use eyeliner but I'm going to line my eyes today just with the LA Splash Art Architect liner. I'm choosing this liner in particular because usually it's the one that I can do that won't ever winehouse me for the day and this is usually the look that I do before I go to work so Ain't nobody got time to be fixing their eyeliner. Like always, if you do uh, make any bumps in your liner, you can just go through with a tiny little angle brush. This is the Smith 203 brush. And I'm just gonna take a combination of this really dark brown and black. 
and just kind of pat that over the top. This will also diffuse that line as well so it's not super crisp or harsh looking. Depending on the look, I'll either use a flesh colored liner or a black liner. Today I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eye Pencil and this is the color Nude. I pretty much always line the insides of my eyes with a nude colored pencil just because I feel like it finishes the eyes. I used to use white a lot when I first started makeup but that's very harsh looking whereas this kind of just gives you that skin color and takes away a little bit of the redness on the inside of your eyes. I'm going to finish off the eyeballs with Superhero from It Cosmetics, my favorite mascara right now. This has been getting um, a little bit clumpy the older the product gets, so I just make sure I wipe a lot of it off the brush first. I'm just going to take a mixture of these two colors from the Etude palette and I'm going to use that to contour my face. These actually remind me a lot of the other Makeup Geek contours that I use. The Love Triangle and Breakup, the Warm and the Cool. But I started using these when I was traveling the other week because I totally forgot to bring a ton of stuff with me because I packed my makeup at 2.30 a.m. So using this more as like a bronzery kind of contour just to shade the cheekbones. I'm going to take my most favorite blush ever and that is Dim Infusion by Hourglass and just pop that on the very tip of that brush. I'm just gonna pop that onto the apples of the cheeks. I found that Having darker hair, I need to put a little bit more on my cheeks now than I did before when I had light hair. And then I'm gonna take my smashed Becca Pearl highlighter. Happened in slow motion the other day. Poo. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of the pearl with my Morphe M501 brush. I love this brush for highlighting. It's just big enough and small enough at the same time. I'm going to run Becca Pearl just on the highlights of the cheekbones. I use different highlighters all the time, but this is one that pretty much looks good with every single color that I'm going to use just because, well, it doesn't really have much color. It's just highlight. Now I'm going to be filling in my brows. I did originally get the Anastasia Granite brow, dip brow, but I do like the formula of the Brow Rehab Brow Cream better. It just can go on a little less harsh and I like more of a natural brow look, especially with dark hair. So I'm just going to take the Brow Rehab Angle Brush and a little bit of this color. This is Ash Brown, which is like a cool tone brown. I have been using this color Jet Black for more of an evening eyebrow. So I just took a little bit on the sides of that angle brush and I'm just going to run a little bit below the eyebrow. Right to the end of the tail. And I'm just going to brush whatever's left on the brush upwards through the eyebrow. Now I did get my brows tinted when I did my hair so they're already just a little bit darker so this just covers the little kind of sparse bits that my brows have. Just gonna brush that through a little bit. So the best thing about this look is it's going to look good with pretty much every single lip color. I love it with the nude. I love it with bright pastel colors as well, with bright pinks. And you know, it doesn't matter what the season is, I'm always down for a deeper dark lip. So thank you so much to everyone that requested this look. I guess it was time that I kind of updated my daily routine. I've pretty much been wearing a version of this kind of eye look as my like daily go-to 
for so long now. I just kind of switch up the brands of the colors, but something like this is just a classic look. A little bit of cream on the lid and a top through the crease. It pretty much default looks good on everyone. Obviously, you're going to switch up the colors according to your skin color, but the best thing is is that it looks good with glasses if you wear glasses as well. And it pretty much looks good with every single lipstick shade imaginable. I love this look with just a little bit of a red lip, a black lip, a brown lip, all of the lips that I just showed you before with this. So thank you always for tuning in. Hopefully by next week I will have my new backdrop to show you guys and a favorites video for the next few months coming up very soon as well. I hope you guys have a lovely week and I will see you guys next Tuesday for my next video. Thanks. Bye.